Hello everyone and welcome to this Monday's mini episode of the Nurtured by Nature podcast. So this week it's not actually Monday, it's now Wednesday and I'm again trying to record an episode to share with you. I've started the new year with a sense of being unsettled. The weather here is changeable, the wind is restless and that sort of is mimicking how I'm feeling with uh, trying to adapt to some news that we had in recent weeks. Sitting here not sure of what the future will bring and how things will unfold and having a history of depression and PTSD, it can be very challenging when life throws you uncertainty and things feel out of control. I think probably over the last few years, many of us have have struggled with feeling out of control. The life that we built and took for granted have been changed hugely, even if there's a certain degree of returning to normalcy now. I think the fact that everything that we went through, knowing that we can't take it for granted, there is no guarantee. The fear, the loss of control, it's a challenge for a lot of people to deal with. Sometimes it's just hard. So it's the start of a new year, 2023, and I've been struggling a little bit knowing what to record and what to share with you. I want this podcast to be a place of inspiration for people and I think that's why I've been struggling a little bit with this week's episode because I'm finding things a little bit hard in my life at the moment and I I speak from my heart when I speak with you and I guess it feels a bit incongruent to pretend to be something I'm not right now. Um, I had lots of ideas about what I wanted to share with you. I was, you know, I've been looking up positive conservation stories to share. I've thought about talking about, you know, what normally people talk about at New Year of setting resolutions, intentions for the year ahead, perhaps even looking back on how far you've come from this time last year, which is I think something that we tend to not do enough of was a lot of the sort of more masculine energy is pushing forward and striving. And at this time of year in the Northern Hemisphere, we're in winter and that should really be a time of more inward reflection than sort of striving for growth, which is probably more appropriate in the next sort of couple of months as we head more into spring and summer and we mirror the environment around us. I think probably many people, I know I'm not alone, do struggle through the darker winter months in, well probably in the southern hemisphere as well, but in the the northern hemisphere. And you know, depression is a difficult thing um, to deal with. It's something that I've dealt with on and off for a large percentage of my life. And it's something that nature has always been a huge support when I'm dealing with times when life feels more of a struggle. So some of the things that help me is just getting out, moving in nature, so walking in particular it's, um, feels manageable because when you're having a, a bad day it can be a struggle to find the motivation to do anything. But if you can, get out and and walk and try and get more in touch with sort of being in the present and in your body, feeling the sensation of whatever weather is there on your skin, on your face, um, the wind blowing through your hair, the cold, the sun warming your cheeks. I also like to be around trees. The ancient oak tree has a lovely little spot at its base where I can sit with my back propped against its trunk and just enjoy the sensation of that solid, constant and 
I often share with the tree how I'm feeling, knowing that he's not going to judge me or try and fix me. Because I think there's a tendency, however well-meaning, that others don't like messy people, probably any more than we like messy nature, which is why there's all this constant tidying up and trimming and grass cutting and sort of exertion of control in an attempt to have it yield to us. But I think we're like nature, we're messy sometimes, but that's okay. It's not easy not being okay, but it is okay to not be okay. And I don't think people are told that often enough. So that's maybe my message to you all today is not necessarily one that's particularly inspiring or going to change the world, but it's that it's okay to not be okay and to feel alone and to feel overwhelmed and that one of the greatest gifts of nurturing a relationship with the natural world is that you can always find comfort and you can always find support and you can always find company. There's always someone who will listen, whether it's a tree or a bird. So I just encourage you, if you are struggling at this time of year, if Christmas and New Year or the winter month are times that you don't find easy, you don't find filled with joy, you find them lonely and challenging, to head out into nature and to find ways to support yourself amongst the trees, the flowers, the insects, the birds, the animals, to reconnect to yourself and to remember to to be present and to know that you don't have to be perfect. Life isn't perfect. Nature isn't perfect. Being messy is okay. I think in nature we can remember that we're stronger and more resilient than we perhaps give ourselves credit for. When you see pictures of plants forcing their way through concrete and rocks, these soft tender shoots breaking through essentially impenetrable substances. I think it's a reminder that being soft, being in touch with your emotions, not being afraid to feel can be a strength as well. And life isn't all about being all right all of the time, but it's about finding the strength to move through those times when we're not all right. And I hope that nature can support you in the way it has supported me my whole life. So I don't know who needed to hear this today. I felt that it was what needed to be shared from my heart to yours. So if you needed this message today, then I hope that it gave you some comfort. And if you're feeling alone, then please feel free to reach out to me either through my website or on social media. And remember that you're not alone. So thank you for joining me on this imperfect Monday mini episode actually Wednesday and I look forward to being back with you on Friday with a slightly more inspiring episode with the lovely Wendy Sweet from Woo in the Willows based in Ireland as we talk more about the amazing healing properties of plants and her love of nature and her beautiful arc that she's created alongside her husband and I hope you all be joining me then. Thank you again for being part of this journey with me with Nurtured by Nature podcast and I look forward to seeing where 2023 will take us all as we explore our love of nature together. Thank you so much for listening to the Nurtured by Nature podcast. I truly hope this conversation has brought some hope and inspiration into your life. I would love to have these messages ripple out across the world. So if you can, please share this episode with your friends, leave a review on your favourite podcast player and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. I would love to hear from you, so please feel free to connect with me on the links provided in the podcast description. But most importantly, thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. But don't forget to simply get out there and enjoy the natural world.